Hello, my name is Ray Nix, and I'll be speaking to you about hippocampal sclerosis and TDP43 pathology in chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Hippocampal sclerosis is characterized by the complete or near complete loss of neurons in the hippocampus. It is often associated with advanced age and has been associated with transactive response DNA binding protein 43, also known as TDP43 pathology. Hippocampal sclerosis impacts the older population in the absence of other explaining pathologies beyond TDP43. CTE is a neurodegenerative disease linked to the exposure of repetitive head impacts, RHIs, that lead to hyperphosphorylated tau tangles at sulcal depths. CTE is seen in contact sport athletes and utilizes a staging system where the pathology starts in the cortex and the determinant of higher stages is the involvement of the hippocampus. Both TDP43 and hippocampal sclerosis have been described in CTE despite a much younger average age of death. So we decided to look at the prevalence of hippocampal sclerosis and TDP43 pathology within our younger athlete brain bank. We hypothesized that there'd be an increased frequency of hippocampal sclerosis and TDP43 pathology associated with the cumulative hits of RHIs seen in CTE, thus indicating an additional potential risk factor. Additionally, that hippocampal sclerosis and TDP43 pathology would increase with greater RHI exposure. We took a group of participants with a history of RHI and CTE at autopsy, dividing them into a group that had CTE but did not have hippocampal sclerosis, and a group that had both CTE and hippocampal sclerosis. The frequency of hippocampal sclerosis within our CTE groups is 23.4%, as you can see in this pie chart. In addition, we utilized a group that had hippocampal sclerosis without CTE and did not have contact sport history. What we see is that our CTE groups are both much younger at time of death than our hippocampal sclerosis without CTE group, uh, and that our CTE with hippocampal sclerosis group had more years of RHI exposure history. We utilize the simplified staging system for limbic associated TDP43 encephalopathy or late pathology. And we set out to determine the prevalence of hippocampal sclerosis and late neuropathologic changes in CTE compared to the hippocampal sclerosis without CTE. What we see is that our CTE without sclerosis, 26% of the cases met criteria for late despite not having hippocampal sclerosis compared to the 95.7% of cases with CTE and hippocampal sclerosis. I'll note that the four cases that had hippocampal sclerosis that did not have a presence of TDP43 could be explained by extensive tau burden leading to hippocampal sclerosis. 100% of cases of hippocampal sclerosis without CTE qualified for late. Additionally, we see more cases with, CT, with late stage three in our CTE hippocampal sclerosis group, despite being much younger than the hippocampal sclerosis no CTE group. Finally, CT has been associated with TDP43 pathology in the cortex, and we see 13 cases where there's no hippocampal sclerosis, no TDP43 pathology in the amygdala or hippocampus. These 13 cases do not contribute to our number that met criteria for late pathology. Instead, we took this finding to mean that there might be a separate CTE-like process. Multiple groups have previously demonstrated that there are relationships between age and TDP43 pathology in the development of hippocampal sclerosis. So what we wanted to do is see if repetitive head impacts contributes. We utilize multiple regression analysis to create a similar model using RHI and CTE stage. What we found is that both age and RHI are associated with increased CTE stage. We know that high CTE stage is impacted by the involvement of the hippocampus. We saw that CTE is a driver of hippocampal sclerosis pathology. Overall, we found that age and RHI had impacts of TD3, TDP43 pathology and hippocampal sclerosis. Essentially, we see RHI acts indirectly through CTE stage, showing that it's the years of exposure that drive pathology, which leads to the increase in hippocampal TDP43 and hippocampal sclerosis. Thus, our conclusions uh, is that increased years of RHI exposure history and the development of CTE pathology may contribute to hippocampal TDP43 pathology, hippocampal sclerosis, and a, an accelerated limbic age-related TDP43 encephalopathy. I just want to say thank you to all the co-authors, lab staff, and people who made this research possible.